no one is paying in the pan the garlic the onion and the ginger and when it started to soften up i'm going to add the tomatoes and then after the tomatoes i add the aubergine and then let it uh, stay fry for a little bit until the tomatoes break down and the juice is ready to gather the rest of the ingredients now i add now the tomatoes together with the rest and then i'm going to separate it until it's open up we're doing it is very good also to to cook in casserole because it has a sweeter taste it's not a, a spicier it has not a strong taste so i love to use also cooking uh, with the rubber bread so don't have to pay it until the tomatoes break down and we we'll just also mingle with the rest of our ingredients now i have now the aubergine or the eggplant that i keep so that it can cure cook already slowly together with the tomatoes and the rest of our ingredients i add already some pepper in it and um, later i'm going to place the half of the bouillon that's a big bouillon others they have placed some uh, lovely leaves or bay leaves to to have a better smell now aubergine is just uh, is personal taste you can add whatever vegetable that you want but usually when we make at home when we were young my mother only add some leafy vegetables from our garden whatever she find it there so i add the aubergine because i have some aubergine in the fridge and i must start cooking them also so now in one or two minutes i can add my beans now i add now the the beans in the pan and then i'm just going to mix it together with the rest for one or two minutes and then i'm going to add some water in it i boiled already some water just adding it and then because when this uh, beans is cooked it becomes thick so it is adding a little bit a little bit more of liquid so that it will not thicken up and then later i'm going to transfer it in a bigger casserole And then I'm not going to, to mix them all together so much because the aubergine can start breaking up. So I'm going to lower now the fire. And now, my dear friends, it's, I'm almost in the last phase of cooking. I had already this chopped uh, spring onions and also two um, peppers. But I'm not going to cut the pepper so that it's not too spicy. I add already the seasoning so the taste is already okay. Later I still have to add a little bit of water when I add it in a deeper casserole. And it can further cook there until it is soft for, for cooking, for eating. So, thank you for watching and have a nice evening everyone. Bye bye.